the easiest printer to get started with in 3D printing. We'll have a look at it today and find out. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad. I want to thank you for stopping in and checking out today's video where we try to answer the age-old question, which is the best 3D printer to get if you're just starting out? Now, this is kind of a vague question. You're going to get a ton of different answers because realistically, not everyone is using printers for the same thing all across the board. If you're into cosplay, you're probably going to need a bigger printer so you can print things like helmets and armor. Or if you have an online store or using it for supplemental income, you may need faster printers to do high volume prints and things like that. Or if you're using it for things like automotive or maybe design and engineering, you may need something you know, more precise or something that prints with specialty filament. So although there may never be a printer that checks all of those boxes off the list, today we're gonna look at a pretty awesome little workhorse of a printer, the Tina 2 Plus by Antina 3D. Now this printer really specializes in ease of use and simplicity, and it's really great for anybody of any age who is just starting off in 3D printing. I'm gonna go over all the ins and outs, cover all the key features, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video as I give you my full recap and thoughts on this printer. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's check out the Antina 3D Tina 2 Plus printer and see just how well it performs. Before we unbox and set everything up, let's look at some of the key features this printer has to offer. The Tina 2 Plus is a little workhorse of a printer with its compact yet durable design. This open source printer features X, Y, and Z support rails that allows for printing upwards of 250 millimeters per second. Getting your print started is a breeze as it's equipped with auto bed leveling and 40 second nozzle heating. The printer has easy storage with its semi-enclosed design and 100 by 100 by 110 build volume and offers convenience features like LED lights and silent board. Pairing its compact size and convenience with the built-in Wi-Fi capability for remote printing, control, and monitoring right off your phone, allowing you to print from virtually anywhere. Lots of cool features packed into this printer, so let's get it cracked open and set up. First, let's open the box here and see the contents. On top, we have the user guide and app setup instructions, a 250 gram spool of Antina's high-speed PLA, some hardware, a glue stick, USB card reader, a nozzle cleaner, and last, of course, our power supply and cords. Finally, unpacking the printer here and getting out, it does come very safely packaged inside uh, and setup is super fast. It does have some reminder stickers on there, uh, a quick breakdown of the setup if you're not an instruction person and just some general reminders. But jumping right into setting up the printer, very simply remove the yellow Z rail protector and the tape that goes around the X and the Z carriage, as well as gently pulling out the Bowden tube that's already attached to the hot end. Next, guide the Bowden tube towards the top opening, compress the Bowden coupler on the extruder assembly, and push the tube tightly into the extruder end. And just like that, we're pretty much good to go. All that's left is just plug in all your power cables and power up the printer. Once powered up, the printer will then prompt you on what to do, starting first by loading our filament. The rack is built in on the side, so just pull the lever down, guide the filament all the way through until it stops, and hit next on the screen. The machine will then heat up and once you see the filament purge from the nozzle, we can move on to the next step. Next, the machine will ask you to insert the provided micro SD card to do a test print. We'll do a quicker print here since it's just for test purposes. This cat ring prints out in about 10 minutes, so let's give this a shot, we'll check back. And coming back a short while, checking in on our test print, we have a successful print and now we can download the Polo Print app by scanning the QR code on the machine. You'll have to create an account with your email and Antina will send you a verification code to that email. Once verified, you can hop on the app and follow the Wi-Fi linking instructions to bind your Tina 2 Plus to the app and link to your Wi-Fi network. Once binded and paired, you can check out the wide variety of files in the library app and even search for some of your favorites. Printing is super easy. Just find the file and click print and you can then use the pre-selected settings or adjust them as you'd like. Speed, temperature, bed adhesion, and supports can all be adjusted to your liking. Once ready, just hit print and let the magic happen. While the print is going on, you can monitor the print's progress and change some of the basic settings on the fly if need be. And now we can see here in no time at all, we've got a pretty nice looking print. I did several different files off the app and they all turned out great. 
Despite not having full range of adjustability on some of the slicer settings, the test prints completed with no issues. And remember, this app is geared towards beginners and kids. So the simplicity and ease of use is nice for anyone new to 3D printing. To fully show how easy operating everything is, I even allowed my kids to give it a shot and they managed navigating through the app with no problems and printed successfully using the pre-selected settings. Another nice thing about this printer though is it has its own proprietary slicer, WeBuilder, and the machine is also compatible with Cura. These are nice options for more customizable print experience, so let's hop over to the PC and I'll show you. So here is Antina's Slicer Wii Builder, and I'll give you a quick overview. To rotate the build plate, right click and hold with your mouse to get a different view when setting up your print. This is a click and drop slicer like most, so when you find the file you want, click it and drop it on the build plate. It'll show up first as a box, but the slicer is decompressing the file and you can see it loading from the status box on the bottom. When the status box reaches 100, your file will pop up and boom, we're good to go. To move the object, just click and hold it until it's in the desired location. We can see the file is a little bit large and it needs to be scaled down to properly fit on the printer so you can adjust your object size properly under the scale setting right here. Once we know it's the right size, we can adjust the slicer settings. So you can see at the top it says slice and next to that is a gear and those are our slicer settings. So let's click that and take a look at them. Under the slicing settings here, you can see we have both basic and advanced menus. If you're trying to keep it simple, the basic settings have all you need. Layer height, speed, temperature, adhesion, it's basically the same settings that you had on the app. But if you need something a little bit more, click advance and it brings out everything you need to fully maximize your printing experience on the Tina 2 Plus. Taking a closer look under the advanced settings, we can see under speed, we can change the top and bottom speed, the infill speed, support speed, we can adjust the seam settings on the print. Under infill and supports, we can change the pattern, the density, the support angle. We also have advanced settings for build plate adhesion, retraction, travel settings, you name it. No matter what material you're using or what file you're printing, these advanced settings will definitely give you all the customization you'll need. Once you've got your settings in line, you can go ahead and click slice at the top. It will prep and preview your model as you can see here. It shows you all of the movements, retractions, supports, and more, and also give you completion time and how much filament will be used in your print. Once everything looks good to go, you can pop in your card reader and card, save it to the SD card, and we're good to go. I did mention this printer also works with Cura, which is a fantastic slicer. I do recommend to play around with Wii Builder and get comfortable with it first though. It has all the basics and then some, but Cura does have some more advanced settings, especially when it comes to supports and top layer skin options. However, if you are new to 3D printing, it may be a little bit intimidating. My recommendation is to master Wii Builder, get used to it, understand their advanced settings and what you're changing and when and if the time comes cura is a fully supported slicer of antina printers so you're good to go to make the jump if need be well now that our file is saved let's pop the card into the machine select print from tf select our file and away we go once printing is initiated from the card the machine will heat up and begin calibrating by auto leveling the bed printing will commence and before we know it we have a successful print Actually, lots of successful prints. Whether it was from the app, using Wii Builder, or using Cura, lots of cool prints with little effort needed and some pretty awesome results. So there it is, all the ins and the outs of Antina 3D's Tina 2 Plus 3D printer. An easy to use, inexpensive, precise, and fun little machine. Whether you're a kid or an adult who's looking to get into 3D printing, this is one of the easiest to use and the end results are fantastic and you definitely won't be disappointed in this one. Now that we had a look at the Tina 2 Plus, let me wrap this video up and give you my final thoughts. All right, everyone. Well, there you have it. There is a look at the Tina 2 Plus brought to you by Antina 3D. And overall, a really nice 3D printer. It's just very simple and easy. Those are the, the keywords I can focus on here. You know, from beginning to end, uh, the unboxing, the setup, pairing to your phone, being able to print from your phone, it was all just very, very easy. And I really think that's the main focus of this 3D printer and Antina's vision is to kind of get people comfortable with 3D printing. You know, technology sometimes can be very intimidating and it is not with this 3D printer. This is not just a printer that a kid can use, but it's definitely a printer I would recommend for a child. Very, very easy. You've seen that my kids were able to use it. Maybe they wanna print little figurines or little fidgets and stuff. 
it's 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 perfect for them. It's a great printer. All of the features that it gives, you know, the auto bed leveling, you don't have to mess with leveling the bed. Uh, the LED light, it gives you good visuals to see what's going on. The magnetic build plate, you can pop the print right off. And the coolest thing is, is it's so small. Now I know some of you might say, well, I'm not interested in this because it is so small. But if you're just a hobbyist, if you just wanna print little figurines, small little things, again, just to get the ball rolling on 3D printing, it's not taking up tons of room. You don't have to sacrifice table or have this big bulky machine, you know, in your dining room somewhere. And when you're done, just, just tuck it away. Obviously with all of the XY stabilizers, you know, you can move it and you don't have to worry about things coming loose or anything like that. It's still big enough to where you can still print some pretty cool things and really optimize the machine's features and its capabilities. And there have been many times where I've had my big printers tied up with something and I needed to print something very precise and small, and that's a perfect option for this printer. So don't overlook it. It has tons of cool features. The precision is absolutely awesome. So if you are looking to get into 3D printing and you want something very simple, very easy to use, definitely consider the Tina 2 Plus. I want to thank Antina 3D for allowing me to showcase off their printer. Make sure to check them out on their website. All of their links will be in the description. Hop online, check out some of their filaments and 3D printer accessories, and also some of the additional printers and offerings they have in the 3D printing world. Well, that's pretty much a wrap on this video and the Tina 2 Plus 3D printer. I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to say what's up, I love hearing from you guys make sure to drop me a comment in the comment section. And of course, if you do love all things 3D printing, cosplay, DIY, tutorial build, showcase videos, everything I'm doing on the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button because I have a whole bunch of videos in the future that you're not gonna wanna miss. And don't forget to check out Antina 3D. Make sure to check them out on their social media links, check them out on their website, see all the things they have to offer in the 3D printing world. And if they ask, make sure to tell them DW sent you. Speaking of future videos, there's a ton that I have to work on, so I gotta get going. Make sure to give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, it's DW out. Later.